What's up guys? Welcome back to another all-time team build. This is the series where we go through all 30 MLB franchises and build a team in Diamond Dynasty with the best and most influential players available for that franchise's history. We switch off between American League and National League teams every single time. The last one was the all-time Miami Marlins, meaning we are now going to an American League team and we're going to a powerhouse, the New York Yankees. Before we talk about the Yankees, really quickly, I just want to you guys know that at the time you're watching this video new merch is live we got the beach one with the 46 levels down on the bottom and then we've got the variation of the 46 logo with the kooks font down on the back so if you buy one of those make sure to let me know and i will thank you personally but now let's talk a little bit about the new york yankees the yankees have been around for a very long time since 1903 when they were known as the new york highlanders and then they changed to the yankees in 1913 They've got a career winning percentage of 577 with 56 postseason appearances, 40 pennants, and of course, 27 World Series championships. Now, the Yankees make the postseason almost every season. The last time they missed it was 2016, but their last World Series appearance hasn't been since 2009. They did win the World Series that year, but they've been on the chase for 28 ever since. One other thing I find interesting about the Yankees is the amount of retired numbers that are in this franchise. They've got every single digit number retired except for number zero, and past that, it just goes on and on and on. So the Yankees are one of the most storied franchises in baseball history, and we get to use their all-time team here in MLB The Show 20. Now, of course, MLB The Show does not have Derek Jeter or Alex Rodriguez. They both would definitely be starting here on the left side of the infield, so we have to work with what we've got. So we've got Glaber and Wade Boggs over there. On the right side of the infield, we got Robinson Cano and Lou Gehrig with Jorge Posada behind the dish. And then in the outfield, we've got Reggie in right, Mickey in center, and the great Bam Bambino over and left. On the bench, we've got a few righties on here with DJ LeMahieu, Aaron Judge, and Gary Sheffield, and then our two lefties on the bench, Brett Gardner and Don Mattingly. As we jump into the pitching side of things, we've got Ron Guidry, who I am going to go ahead and start in this video. Of course, we've got Whitey Ford, and then we've got Garrett Cole, James Paxton, and El Duque. And the bullpen for the Yankees is friggin' stupid good. You got Mo, who's a new addition into the game this year. You got 99 Gossage, 97 Chapman, 99 Miller, 93 Britton, Batances. It just goes on and on. So we have a really good team ready to go, but I am going to have a tough matchup. I'm going to be playing a content creator in this game. His name is The Scan. He's a really big Yankee fan, and you can tell because he's actually the one who discovered Lou Gehrig. The dude went out of his way to make sure that he finished extreme. He did all that grind in one night just to get Lou Gehrig because he's that big of a Yankee fan. So we're playing Scan in this video. Make sure to go check out his links in the description. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the all-time Yankees team build. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, hit the thumbs up button. Remember to subscribe to the channel below. Let's see if we can get it done with the Evil Empire. So we're ready to go. Uh, is this his God Squad? This team looks interesting. He's using Sunny Gray, which is new. Yo, just a quick note. This is me as I'm editing. I talked to Scan and I figured it out. He used an anti-Yankee team build. So players who either like hurt the Yankees, hence the Luis Gonzalez and Randy Arozarena. You got Piazza who is on the other side of New York for the Mets. You get what I mean, it's the anti-Yankee team build. So that's kind of a fun idea, but let's get into the rest. I've got Reggie Jackson batting leadoff because there's so many lefties on this team. I, I had to get a little funky with it. And of course, you guys know we had to play at old Yankee Stadium. I would have shown you the jerseys beforehand, but I mean, the Yankees have pretty much had the same jersey forever, so I mean, you kind of know what it looks like. Oh, get it. Come on. Come on, Boggs. Come on, Boggs. Strong throw. Ah, kobe has got the wheels. He's running. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Posada. Perfect throw. Did we get him? Sit down, Jacoby. Fly ball to right. We got it. We got it. He's got a Rosarena up now. Dude, I always forget how good of a hitter Randy Rosarena is in this game. There we go. We got him out, though. <laughs> he just struck me out on three pitches without the slightest problem. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I actually struggled against Sonny Gray the last time I faced him. He's got a weird release, and the ball kind of moves a lot out of his hand. Nice. Full count. We drew the walk. Babe Ruth. Oh, my God. I'm actually getting a hit with Babe Ruth. 
Am I gonna be able to score him? 95 speed? That's Jacoby out there. I think I'm gonna bring him around. Let's go! Success with the Bambino! Oh, man. That was a pretty good swing, but a pretty good pitch as well. I got a fastball with Lou and I blew it. No. We got a run though. And I'm going to need all the runs I can get because I don't know how much I actually trust Ron Guidry. I, I feel like he's a little bit easy to hit. So we'll see what happens. Base hit for Big Poppy. Good swing. Good swing. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to get two there. Oh, God. He's got Brousseau up. Oh, no, dude. Oh my god, we're actually getting Brousseau out with a lefty. Ooh, that was a good swing. think Mantle should have no problem. I didn't get behind it, so he could get to third, but he's not going to make the third out over there. Good pitch. Good pitch, Ron Guidry. Let's go. Glaber. That's a bomb right there. 2-0 lead for the Yankees. 3-2 to Randy. What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? Oh, that's probably a really good swing on his PCI, too. Come on, 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 Gidry. <laughs> what a play. Gidry looking like a true athlete. Let's do it. Let's mix in the curveball. Let's throw it. I was worried with where that release was, but it still got the job done. Yo, four shutout innings from Ron Gidry. That's actually a lot better than I thought he was going to do. Boom, Jorge Posada. That ball is way out of here, man. Let's go. I think it might be time for him to take out Sonny Gray. Considering this lineup has so many lefties in it, he should definitely go to a lefty he has in the pen for sure. I am going to get the pen going. I know Gidry's pitching well. He hasn't allowed a run through four innings. But I feel like it's only a matter of time before Scan starts to figure it out. Considering I've used the curveball like once. So really it's just slider four seam, two seam. And that, you know, is going to start getting repetitive. Popped him up. There you go. There you go. This would be a huge out because the pitcher spot is on deck. Actually, I don't know. I kind of want him to leave Sonny Gray in the game. But we'll see what happens. Good pitch. Double play. Uh, <laughs> that was the weirdest flip I've ever seen. Five shutout innings from Ron Guidry, but I might pull him here. I kind of think I want to pull him because, once again, I just feel like the pitches that he has are going to start getting repetitive, especially now getting through the third time through the order. I think it might be time to, to give him the hook. This could be one of those over-managing decisions, and if it turns out that it bites me, well, then I guess I'm Kevin Cash, but let's try to get some runs. Now that I'm going to have him on second, I got to try to get this run in, so it, it makes even more sense now. But we're going to check out Donnie Baseball here. 54 speed. I could technically try it if I wanted to with Ellsbury out there, but it's not worth it. Diego Castillo is going to a righty. Okay. Good pitch. He, he might get out of this inning. Not if Mickey Mantle has anything to say about it. What a hit. Let's go, dude. That's huge. That's a huge run for insurance. And we're still not done. We still got Babe Ruth up. And that might sneak through the middle. Come on, beat it, Babe. And we score from second. Oh, my God. The aggressive base running worked. Babe Ruth did exactly what he needed to do. Seventh inning, he's got the heart of the order coming up, starting off with a Rosa Reina. I've got Andrew Miller in. He's already thrown a really good inning so far. Oh, that was a dangerous pitch. Beautiful slider. Executed that perfectly. That's the first out. Oh, come on, Blue. That was filthy. We'll still get the out. Oh, man, I wanted that strikeout. I had him dead to rights. Get him at first, Reggie. Get him at first, Reggie. Hose. Dang it. I wanted that outside. I don't, why Why did I leave Miller in to face Brosseau, though? I don't really know what that decision was. Uh, he's going to score. That, that was just a terrible decision by me all around. Come on, come on, Cano. No. Oh, no, this is not good. Okay, come on, Miller. Who, who's up next? Piazza? 
Yeah, we gotta go to a righty. Which sucks, because now I have to bring in Gossage, and I'm pretty sure the pitcher spot leads off the bottom of the seventh. So I gotta use Gossage for literally one out, hopefully. Got a full count. I've gone to the fastball two times in a row, but he's been late on both of them. I'm gonna go to the slurve. In. Let's go! Got him looking. Brett Gardner's in the game. Oh, and, and Brett Gardner's hitting it well. Oh my god. Brett Gardner with a leadoff double. Get through there. 90 speed. I'm, I'm sending him. That's Jacoby. I should be in there. Boom, we're getting that run right back. Ninth inning here. I put up a couple more in the bottom of the eighth. We're going to go ahead and bring in Mo. I have to do it. Technically, like, I, I you know... I could have just totally stayed with Britain right there, but we didn't have Mo last year for the all-time Yankees, and we have him this year, so I gotta throw him in the game. Oh no, no, no. That was that was awful. That was all me. That was a horrible pitch. That was supposed to be a way that got too much plate. There we go. That home run means nothing at this point in the game. Dude, I keep leaving that cutter right over the middle. I don't know why I'm not getting that to go outside to righties, but we got the out. I used the fastball, and that will result in the final out, and the all-time Yankees secure the victory. This is easily the best all-time team that we have used so far. Uh, I thought the Marlins were pretty good. The Angels' offense is pretty good. But I think overall, with the pitching and the offense and just an overall team, the all-time Yankees are pretty dirty. GG's to scan, though. Make sure to go show him some love. His links are in the description. So, guys, that is the all-time New York Yankees. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Remember to subscribe to the channel down below. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.